dropping by. I'm also a basic dish eaten across the world and made with so many variations such as using veggies, leafy greens, mushrooms, herbs and even spices. Added to beaten eggs and fried in oil or butter. This recipe is a simple variation to your traditional omelette that is easy to make with no experience required and is ideal for a healthy snack or protein rich breakfast. If you like this video, how about pressing the like and subscribe buttons? By subscribing, you'll be notified of any future videos. And at the end of this video, you'll see links to my other videos. So let me know what you think. Don't worry about writing down the quantities of ingredients, as they're listed in the comment section. Let's get started. First step is to brown off about a half a small onion, finely diced, and one clove of crushed garlic. So a pan, dump of olive oil, about a tablespoon, give or take. Then, and we just want to brown it. Now, if you overcook garlic, it'll actually turn very bitter. So just, just till it starts to go brown, and that will do. Now, while that's sitting there cooking, we're going to start preparing our tomato. Now this is the different alternative. I learned this when I was actually overseas in Asia. What we do, we take the top of the tomato, a good portion, and now we scoop out the insides. What we don't want to do is break through the edge. So around the fleshy bit, you can't quite get through with your spoon, just give it a bit of a trim with the knife. Now scoop it out. Yeah, when I was travelling through sort of uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, that's where I learnt this one. Really simple, but absolutely beautiful meal. Can't really beat it. Now we don't want to throw that out. We'll use that in a nice pasta dish or even on sandwiches down the track. There we have it. Now our onion and garlic should be about done by now. Oh yeah, that'll be close enough for me. I can really smell that garlic, I can smell the onion, the olive oil, oh the onion has really soaked up that olive oil. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's turn that off, let that sit while we prepare the rest. Now we need to whisk in one egg for this recipe. So all we're going to do is fill that tomato. Oh. It's always handy when you drop shell in. There. Just give it a really quick whisk together. There we have it. Now, we add about an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric powder. So, see measure, I'm just going to guess it. I don't mind a bit of turmeric. There. And the same again with paprika. Touch more. Give that a quick stir together. And we add the onion and garlic to the mix. Now you can add additional things such as mushrooms, a bit of bacon, a uh, bit of ham goes really well in this, or even uh, chorizo, if you really like that bit of a spice to it. And that works absolutely magnificently. And pour that in, very careful not to tip it over. There. Okay. Now we place the lid back on top. Same position. Now you should use toothpicks. Now I lost my toothpicks, so I'm using cut down skewers. So can't be bothered going in the street to buy any more. Put them in until it locks it, the lid down in place. Now you need to put a touch more oil back in the pan, get nice and warm, 
maybe about half a tablespoon. And on a medium to low heat, we add the tomato. A little one more. Now let that cook for about five minutes. Then we'll turn over and cook the other side. Five minutes is up, so now I'm just going to turn it over. So cooking that nice low to medium heat, what that does is actually set the egg internally. So we don't get any leakage when out through the lid. So another couple of minutes on the lid. We might turn around on the sides a bit and see you soon. All right, I think we're about done. Let's take it off and take a look inside. Now the hard part, picking it up. There we go. Over. Take the picks out. There you have it, my alternative to a classic omelette. A bit simple, but very, very tasty. Well, thanks for tuning in and watching. I'd love to hear about your tips and tricks to making your perfect omelette. So how about leaving it in the comments section below, let me know what you think. And tune in next time for another quick, tasty recipe. And remember, keep it simple. Bye for now.